Hello, I'm David Larson, and this is GearPatch. GearPatch is a peer-to-peer -peer rental platform that lets musicians make some extra money off of their gear by connecting them with other musicians who need that gear over a short term. When a user first opens GearPatch, they'll be taking, taken to this window uh, where they can search for the gear that they're looking for. And that will present them with a summary view of the gear that's available. Uh, if I hover over a piece of gear, it'll show me the picture and name of the owner of that gear. And if I click through the piece of gear, it'll take me to a full description of that piece of gear. Uh, it'll also give me some other gear that's available from the same owner and some information about the owner themselves. Uh, if I want to ask a question uh, or request a reservation of that gear, I can, but I will have to sign in first. So I'm going to go ahead and log into the app here. All right. And once I'm logged in, it'll give me options for messages and reservations. And it'll also give me notifications if there are any new messages or reservations. And then a My Gear tab that we'll look at a little more here in a moment. Uh, so now I can go ahead and ask my question. And there's a pre-populated message that I can add to or replace. And I'll send that message. And once that message is sent, uh, actually from here, I'm going to flip over to that other user. And we see we have a new message here. And when I go to the messages, it'll show me a summary card for each user and any conversations I have with those users, uh, along with the new unread message here. When I click through the conversation, then I can see all the messages I've had with the other user. Uh, and here's the new message I just sent. Uh, we can go ahead and click and mark that as read. And that'll update up here at the top. And then I can go ahead and reply to that as well. All right, so now I'm going to flip back to the first user again. And we notice the counter has increased. Uh, that, that is monitored live. Uh, and I'll click through, and we can see the re new reply here. And again, I can click that to mark it as red if I wanted. So now I'm going to go back to the piece of gear and request a reservation. And we'll request it here over the next couple days. We'll verify the information, and that'll take me to the reservations tab. I'm going to flip to the second user one more time and go to her reservations tab. And we can see the new reservation, and the owner of the gear is given the, uh, given the option to confirm that reservation. So she's going to go ahead and confirm the reservation. And that is now confirmed. So back to the first user. Uh, when it's confirmed, he will receive an automatic message, uh, actually both when it's requested and when it's confirmed. And then uh, we now have that confirmed reservation here as well. Uh, if I'm the owner of a piece of gear and it's out for rental, uh, once it comes back, I can mark that gear as returned, and that will make it available once again for the next rental. Uh, so from here, we're going to go to the My Gear tab. And this is all the gear that I have available to rent to other users. Uh, we can go ahead and list a new piece of gear. Uh, we're going to list a nice guitar here, uh, Gibson, Les Paul, uh, throw a price on it. Uh, as I select the type of gear that it is, these blanks down here will change depending on that type of gear with other information that we need for that. Uh, Put a set of 12s on there that are in good condition. I can throw an optional description of some kind right here. And then I can go ahead and upload an image. And that'll preview here before we save it. Uh, I can also add as many accessories as I want to include with a piece of gear. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to give it a case. And then we're going to save that piece of gear. And that takes us to the owner page for that piece of gear. 
Uh, I can edit it from here. Uh, if there's anything I want to change, I can also deactivate the piece of gear if I need to take it off the market temporarily for repairs or any other reason. And that will remove it from the search results uh, until I come back and reactivate it. And then I can also uh, delete a piece of gear altogether and take it off the mar market permanently. That will remove it from my list and from the database. And if there were any previous reservations made with that, that'll show now as being no longer available. Uh, the last thing to show you is just the user profile uh, where I can edit my user profile if I want to change the description or uh, change my picture or anything like that. Uh, and then if I want to take a break altogether, I can deactivate my profile. That'll make uh, any of my gear that's currently listed unavailable uh, in searches and log me out. And I, I will have the option to log back in later and reactivate that profile. So that's Gear Patch. And a couple technical notes. This was built with a custom API uh, in .NET Core uh, using the Web API uh, library and framework uh, in C-sharp programming language. Uh, and the front end, the client was built with React.js and styling was all done with Bootstrap and CSS. So feel free to drop me a like if you enjoyed this or uh, feel free to drop, give me a comment if you have any questions. And thank you for watching.